Many companies and small businesses are transitioning from Excel to Google Sheets, and it's easier to see why. With full access to the entire Google Sheets system from anywhere with an internet connection, and now with offline capability, Google Sheets has a lot of flexibility. But that's just the beginning. Let's open up both Excel and Google Sheets and take a look at some of the amazing features that make Google Sheets far superior than Excel. Let's start off with errors. In Excel, try write a formula. If you make a mistake, it gives you an error and tells us which error it is. Name, value, NA, spill. Unfortunately, that's all it gives us and it can be difficult to troubleshoot those errors, especially if the formula is quite big. <laughs> Trying it out in Google Sheets and it actually gives us guidance to help understand and fix the error. While we're on the topic of errors, one thing that really annoys me in Excel is this pop-up that says, hey, did you mean to put a bracket here? It only gives us one suggestion to fix it, so why not just auto fix it? Google Sheets just puts a bracket at the end. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. Just do it and tell me what the error is afterwards. Now let's talk about entering data in cells. Now, I came from around about a decade of working in Excel before moving over to Google Sheets. So this one's actually new to me up until around about last year, but it's been around since the beginning. I wanna edit this cell. Well, in Excel, you'd press the F2 key. Now, if you've ever worked personally with me, you'll know that on my keyboard, I always remove two keys. And that's because in Excel, you're pressing the F2 key so much that sometimes you do hit the F1 key and that brings up the help menu. I despise this so much that I just got rid of the possibility of hitting the F1 key. Now, sometimes at work, I'd get in trouble for this and I'd replace my keyboard with a new one with the F1 key and the numlock key back on, but I'd just remove them straight away, leave them on my desk, and then I'd get in trouble again. In Google Sheets, you can press the F2 key to enter the cell, but you can also press the Enter key to start editing. So much easier, so much faster. Google Sheets is cloud-based and it should be. Internet is everywhere these days and it makes sense to have everything online. Now you can work from anywhere without the need of taking your laptop with you and you still have access to all your data. Sure, Excel has online mode, but it's severely limited. It's still good, but Google Sheets has every single function. Excel, not even close. Oh, before you yell at me and tell me that Excel is better because we can use it offline, well, now Google Sheets has offline mode too. All those articles to compare Google Sheets and Excel that say Google Sheets isn't available offline, they need to start updating their content. Now let's stick with Excel being severely limited for a moment. In every Excel forum, there are an amazing amount of contributors helping out people with their problems. But the first question that pops up is usually, which version of Excel is that? So while Excel 365 has all these new cool functions and features, Excel 2016 and everything before that, that a lot of people still use, isn't being updated with these new functions. Google Sheets, on the other hand, has the regular version that most people use, the education version for educators, and the business version. If you have a question on a forum or on a YouTube video, you don't have to ask what version is that. When there's a rollout of new features, everybody gets it within a couple of weeks. And that's really one of the reasons that Google Sheets is the big winner here. I can go from work to home, pull out the same spreadsheet wherever I am, and I don't have to worry about if I have access to a particular function. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of arguments over which spreadsheet program is best, whether it's Google Sheets, Excel, VisiCalc, something else. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer and why? And on the way back up, make sure you hit that like button. Sticking with that last point, do you know why so many people are asking which version do you have? It's because it costs money to switch from one version to another. Google Sheets, free for everyone. Now, if you think you don't have free access to Google Sheets, just type in sheets.new in your Chrome browser. If it doesn't work the first time, set up a free account, then you're good to go. You've even just created your Google Docs, your Google Slides, your Google Sites, your Google Drive, so you've got your file management set up. Of course, now it's up to you to keep it organized. Over the pandemic, over 80% of small businesses have increased their use of digital tools. Since then, Google has supported this move with over 200 new features. With so many people working from home, one of those features is Google Meet directly in Google Sheets and Docs and slides. So let's say you're looking at your sheet and you want to collaborate with others. Just click the meet button at the top and the meeting pops up in the sidebar. You can also share your view of the screen and bring everyone into the same doc with the chat. Alternatively, you can take everyone to the Google Sheet directly from the pre-set up meets window. Now that's efficiency, but it also highlights the interaction between Sheets and other Google apps. It's embeddable in docs, slides, and sites. We've got Google Forms for data collection. You've got the import functions to easily link to information online. Yes, Excel does interact with other products and online, but it's all hidden away. Sure, if you've got Teams, then it's all there, 
but with Sheets, it's all out in the open, ready to go. Of course, we can't talk about spreadsheet programs without talking about their functions and formulas. Now, this isn't a tutorial video, so we're just going to go through lightning round. Array formula. Yes, Excel has it, but not at all like Sheets. Query. Excel has Power Query, which takes a lot of steps that Sheets can do in one SQL sentence. Flatten. Sure, we've now got two row, which can be found in Excel 365 too, but Flatten was a major game changer for years before Excel got on board. Count Unique. Counts the amount of unique items. Count Unique Ifs. Counts a unique set, but given certain criteria. Array literals, I use this all the time and don't know why Excel hasn't figured this out yet. Sparkline, Excel has sparklines, but it doesn't have the function sparkline. Google functions like Google Translate, Google Finance, as well as the finance chips. The image function to create images. Works great to create QR codes or import pictures. The two functions, two text, two date, two dollars, two percent, two pure numbers. Of course, these are Google specific because we have the import functions that I mentioned earlier, like import HTML, import XML, import feed, import data, import range. So there is a lot of reasons to choose Google Sheets over Excel. 